Hello everyone, this is Hans, and today we are back in the Wraith of the Mountains. And you can see that someone passed by me, and they gave me the Spirit of the Wolves. So we are going to continue on from here. The really cool thing about the Wraith Mountains is there are so many anomalies that you won't see anywhere else. Like there are hands coming up out of the ground. There are giant skeletons in this area, so we got to be very careful. And the giant skeletons are for a quest for the necromancers for their armor. It's a level 24 armor quest, I believe, that you can get. It starts in uh, Nostro, if I remember. There are also a lot of bears here. All of the bears that you could ever need. And a lot of people will hunt them for their skins because there are so many here. Over here, there is a gypsy place, but uh, some people will come here around level 30 or so, or a little bit earlier or later, and kill Cynthia, because she is a very easy kill, the other people will not assist, and they are not on the same faction, or there is no faction that you can lose from her. Over here, where these bears are, and you can see the little druid ring up there, that is where there is a druid that you need to hand in a prickly pear for the Shadow Knight um, life leech spell. You hand it to her and she hands you a note, like a bloody note. And it is because you need the blood of a druid or something like that. Also, there is another part of the epic that you, or not the epic, but that, that spell specifically that you can do here. There is also a part of the epic for the Shadow Knight, I believe, or maybe it is the Bard, where you have to kill a named Drake, and you either get its guts or you get its backbone. I forget. Then you have an area that we are coming up to where there are two green beetles, and they do not hate you. It's kind of weird the way they are, and they will not attack you, but they have very interesting names. It is kind of like the whole zone, though. There are things like sphinxes here. If you do not know what that is, it is like a lion body, and it also has the um, the uh, the head of a human and also the wings of a griffon, that kind of thing. It's very interesting. You also have a little guard tower next to where all the heel giants and all the cyclops spawn. Once we get past here, you will see, you may or may not see that there is going to be a guy named the bootstrader. Oh, is there? he is there. Look at him. He is very cute. He is small. But he is somebody that you turn in the... Um, a ring of the ancients or something like that and some money and he will give you these bullets that allow you to run faster kind of like I am running now if we get all the way up here there are two ways that you can go you can go to the right or you can go to the left by the way the boot strutter is on the same spawn line as brother Z who is a monk and he can spawn the robe of the lost circle it is a faster way of doing your epic, uh, or for the monk. You don't have to do the robe quests. Also, if you go in this direction, there is a orc that you can find, and that orc will end up giving you the ability to get a belt from him, which has really good stats on it. So we're going to end up going to Fadok now, and this is, uh, I'm sorry, not Fadok, this is uh, Fierat. This is where all the ogres are, so we need to be very careful. Okay, so here we are in the fair art, and you may notice that I am now part of a guild, which is called Acquired Taste, and it really felt like it was a guild for me, for an adventurer. So this is really cool. Also, Eluna, or, or Eluin, she is the one who gave me the buffs that I currently have. So we are going to go through the, the zone now, and hopefully we will not die. Also, at the end of the video, you will see all of the deaths that I did have, which will be kind of fun for you, but was not fun for me. <laughs> so, you know, I have died at least twice here. And that is not fun because we are still on the Kinos. But I did not want to interrupt the video as it is currently. So we are going to just move on. 
It was really fun just coming over here, but let me tell you about the zone. It is really cool. So here we have some skeletons. We need to get to ransom. Also, there are some mobs in the zone that you may not know about or may not have run into before. But there is an assassin in the zone and he will kill you even in the level 50s. He is a very strong person and I do not know if he is even for a quest. If he is, it is not an important quest. Oh, we lost our levitation. That is not good. Okay, we are coming over here and you will see that there are people. This right here, this tree in the uh, mountain here, lets you know that this is an invisible wall and you will be able to get to the specters, I think is what they called. Also, the lizardmen here, they are mortal enemies of the ogres. So if you like them, you will not be attacked by them. Also, if you... Oh, there is an alligator in the area. And you can see there is also a specter on here as well. So we got to be very careful because of the gods, also because of the mobs in the zone. Also, there are skeletons, or not skeletons, but there is a zombie here called the Green Blood um, Zombies. Oh, who is this? I do not want to know. I do not want to even touch him. Um, let us track him so that we can make sure we go around him. He is to the left, and we do not want to go to the left, of course. Also, you can see there are people... Okay, level 3 in Ferrot. Stop talking and pay attention. <laughs> so they know that I am recording, which is kind of funny. But we are going to be going through the zone here. And the guild itself is pretty cool because it is built around the idea that we are playing for the funds and that we are more not worried about the deaths and it's true i am having more fun even though i have died and had to run all the way back here several times it doesn't really matter to me i've been having more fun with it than normal uh we do need to pay attention though because we uh do have a chance of being killed by a god and we are going to um we are going to make sure also we have a green mist uh, uh green blood zombie Okay, he is gone now. Alright, we are going to cross over here. And I am sorry to my guild if I am not paying attention at the moment. I am just trying not to die. Uh, once we get over here, we're going to do something stupid, but also smart at the same time. I know for a fact that the god is going to walk along this pass over to the right side where the water is. So I'm going to cut in and go straight to the wall. The wall is going to take me a little bit to get there. But it is going to be safer going that route. Oh, oh, I see a person. I, uh, is it an, okay, is this an orc? <laughs> but he is a player. He is not someone who can kill me. So, uh, hello, Huda. Um, I hope you are safe and everything. There are people talking in my guild and they're probably talking about me. I may or may not hide it because I don't know. I, I don't know how they will feel. But it is funny that they had mentioned that I am level three. Okay, so we are going to continue through here, and you can see we are back at the water. We need to try to stay away from the water for now, because if the guard is walking along it and he is not over by the Celtic's rule, then we will end up uh, getting killed, and we do not want that. We are already too far away from the Kinos, and if we can get to the next zone, we will be in better shape, I feel, because there is no threat like there was here with the guards. Uh, we know the way that to get there. Oh, hello! <laughs> it, you, you would not attack me, but that is still scary. Okay, there is a skeleton in the area, so we do want to track him, just so we can make sure we are staying away. Okay, he is behind me. Hopefully he is not following me. Oh, there is a decaying. We will leave him alone. We are kind of just running through the zone because I do not want to die. All right, we are going to cancel so that we cancel the tracking. Also, I noticed that my weapon is at 20 and so is my tracking. That means that my tracking only levels as I level. Okay, here we are. We are going to zone now. Oh, by the way, this is a bard of the Antonican. 
and there is a mail quest. I think you saw it earlier, uh, whenever they were asking me to deliver the mail. I am not a mail deliverer. Okay, so here we are in Inner Throw Swamp. This is where the trolls are, but also you will find a lot of frog locks here because there is a place called the Guck. There is a top version and there is a bottom version. The top version is 100% the live versions of the uh, the frog locks and also there are spores. But I don't know if you want to go near them even, um, even if you are high level. Also, in the lower version of the Gok, there is all undead on one half, and there is live on the other. Let us see our, our faction here. So we are not hated by them. If you want to keep your faction with the upper Gok, it would be best to stay away from them until you are higher level, and then go straight down to the lower Gok, around level 35, and kill only the undead ones. This way, you can always travel through the upper gok without any problems. But lower gok, or I'm sorry, upper gok is a really good experience. One of the things that you may find here, oh, he is apprehensive as well. That's a good thing. One of the things you may find here is uh, is a hand in the middle of the zone. And it is where the shamans can get their spells. It is very cool. If we can get there, I will go. But... I want to be very careful as well. So this should be pretty fun. They are asking me if I started in Kinos. Uh, yes. <laughs> so this is going to be pretty interesting here. We're, what we got to do is we're going to get to this opening that's right up here. And then we are going to go straight out. And this is how you get to the hand. So, I do not know what is here that would actually kill me. I, oh, I am fast. Now I am slow. Maybe it's because it was the water was not so deep. Okay, so we are going to, we may not do this. This may be a bad idea if we go this route. But I do want a picture for the, for the thing. So we may do this. Why not? Though this is also a way that we can get killed very easily because there is a lady who will run past there and she is called Larissa, I think. Um, and she gives you a, if you hunt her a ruby, she will give you a mallet or she will give you an earring or she will give you just some coin or nothing. And a lot of people will use that mallet for the warriors because they have the ability to... Um, they have the ability to click it like several times and it will give them all of the faction or all of the taunts. I, I guess is how you would say that. So we are we are still tracking as we go along here. Oh also I did not show you this. I changed these two buttons at the very bottom and what they do is whenever I turn left or right it will automatically do certain Oh my goodness, there is a massacre over here. Let us go ahead and hide the thing. This is this is craziness over here. Here is the hand. I am not going to go all the way over there. And we should probably track real quick. But I am going to press the F10. Here we go. And we are going to record for a second. And there we go. We now have our picture. Uh, it should be pretty fun. So we are now going to turn around and go all the way back. Because we do not want to die out here. So if we get through the water, we will head right back over to where the entrance is to the south row. And the south row is going to be easy, but it also has some hard parts about it as well, because there are ogres, or I'm sorry, not ogres, we just passed them. There are orcs that are going to be right as we zone in, and they are kind of back though. We can get past them. But once we get past the orcs, we are going to then be in the desert. And there are mummies, there are other undead things. Oh, is that a collectible thing? There is a mushroom here. It is blue. It is cute. Oh, it is a collectible. Swamp vegetables. Let us get that. Oh, what about you? Are you? Oh, they do attack. We need to get to the land. Let us not get near them. Also, there is a bull alligator. I do not want to get near it. Okay, do I do I go back this way, I think? Um, yes, we do not want to die. Oh, we've already gotten so far. So here we go. We're getting through the zone here. 
So this is going to be the south row. Okay, here we are now in the south row. It is now dark, so it is going to be a little bit more scary. Up on this hill here, you can see that there is an orc. We are going to stay clear of him. And if we go a little bit over in this direction that I'm heading now, you will see uh, at some point a, a glow, and you can now see it. Let's go to that way. And this is where the the druid rings are so if you want to get to teleports you can go to the druid ring here and there are sometimes people here i do not know if this one has a merchant but a lot of times these have merchants next to them now if we continue to head i believe it is um oh we got lots of things on the screen here if we continue to head north, as you can see here, we are going to get to the wizard spires. So in most zones, not all zones, there is going to be a wizard and a druid spire next to each other, or a druid ring and a wizard spire. So now, that was not very hard, was it? This next part, though, this is where we die, if, if we die at all. So it is going to be... Um, some undead here, the other pumas, and the pumas, oh, they are emberly, this is good. So we do not have to worry about them. We have spiders. Also, in this zone, there is the ability to get the, uh, what is it called, is the, um, Terrorantula. The Terrorantula, she can spawn, she is the, the brood mother of the, of the people. Also, there are beggar looking guys here, desert madmen. They are will attack and they can be castles. Also, we have a guy over here that is a ghoul. He is level 18 or so. He will kill us. Also, a zombie there. He will kill us. Also, the uh, dark elves there. I don't know if they will kill us, but they do not like us, I am sure. So, we are going to try to get through this gauntlet of fun. Also, you can see here where there is a gap between these two mountains. That is how you know that you are heading in the right direction. In this zone, you also have the ability to find the, um, the ancient Cyclops. He is one that drops a ring that you turn into the Bootstrider, or whatever his name was, and you will get those boots of running. Alright, we zone now. Okay, so we are now here in the Oasis. This is getting fun. We are almost there to the East Commons. What we are probably going to do, though, is once we get to the East Commons, or actually the North Row, we will probably stop and kill all of the, um, all of the skeletons, the, uh, the decaying ones, and get the bone chips. Now, we could turn those in, or sell those, actually, to people for the 10 platinum per stack, and that is a possibility, but I am on my way to Fadok, and I feel that if we do go to Fadok, we have the ability to turn them in for a really good experience. Are you hating me? Oh, they are ready to attack. I need to, I need to be very careful here. I was sure that the uh, crocodiles and things would not be attackable, or attacking me, but I do need to make sure that I do not get attacked. Also, that right up there is not a normal skeleton. That is a dry bone skeleton. He casts the fire, and he will kill us in a cast. So we need to be very careful. And we are seeing so many bodies. Let's hide those real quick. Uh, yeah, this is more scary than I was expecting. Also, there is a zombie up here. There is a sand giant in the area called... Oh, I cannot remember his name at the moment, but he is a very scary one. He will kill you even at level 60, if I remember correctly, because he regenerates health so fast. Another thing you'll find in here are more specters. There is a place in the middle of the water uh, in this zone, and you can kill the specters there around level 38 or so. This is kind of fun. I'm really enjoying that we are getting so far in this one because I was expecting that we would have died more than we have. And while you have not seen my deaths yet, the, you will see them at the end of the video, which is not very many. Okay, we are now in North Road. This is so exciting. We've gotten so far today. So if you were to see there is a trench right over here. Actually, it's not there. It's over right 
here if you follow that trench all the way down you will find a dervish camp it is called dervish 3 there are three dervish camps in the zone of course as you as you can guess and the second one is going to be up in this area it's kind of in the middle of the zone and then finally there is dervish 1 which is a very small one which usually people will solo at but also not only that but you have all kinds of the spiders and the um, the beetles in here, the scarabs, as well as some undead. It's a very small camp of undead, so you can actually uh, play with them. There is an orc that spawns near uh, here. Is, this is uh, the Rish 2. You see this orc here? He is an orc raider. He is very easy compared to the rest of the people over there. Also, with the dervish, you do need to be careful because of the erudite and the ogre. They are both casters. One is a wizard and the other one is a shaman. So you need to just be very careful of that. If we go over this way a little bit more, we will find uh, the dervish 3. Now, if you follow the water, which we're going to do, because I do want to show you this on a little bit more. Um, so, she, um, so here we go. You're gonna see, here is a dock here. This is going to lead you over to the Velias. You can see the little gnome. He is a little pirate gnome. And he is going to tell you to head, that is where you go. Now, if you follow all the way along here, you see these things that are sticking out of the water? You would think, in, I, if I remember correctly, you would think that this is probably a barbarian. It is a barbarian place. Never mind. I do not know what I am talking about. I thought that was where the necromancers started a quest at. But I might be wrong. I probably am. Now, if we go all the way, to, uh, all the way to this direction here, which is northwest or north, you will find, uh, or west actually, you will find that there is a wizard spire in here, and this is the only zone that wizards can go to that I know of. With uh, well, that's not true. There is also the um, not only north row. But also, also West Karana that they can go to with, that a druid cannot go to. So this is a very cool place. A lot of times uh, people don't understand the fact that there is a North Row port. And people are always asking for the West Karana, uh, for the West Common Lands port. Even though this one is closer to East Commons. Which if we come over here, you will find the tunnel that leads into East Common Lands. So I think that's what we are going to do. And we'll get to the tunnel and show you it in its glory. And then we will leave for the day. Because we have traveled so far. And I have had so much fun today. It is kind of funny that we were able to get through. And only two deaths. Again, I did not show you to them uh, yet. You will see them at the end of the video. And the, the extras, I guess we will call it. I'll make a little screen thing, and then we'll see the extras, and then we'll have the outro and everything after that. But anyway, it has been a very fun trip. I feel that if I did not have the support, not only of just other people that I've run into, but also my guild member who came and uh, gave me the buff so that I could get through the ferret with the sew and everything, then I probably would never have been able to make it here today. Uh, it has probably taken me uh, close to two or three hours to be able to make this video. Mainly because of the fact that I've had to run from Kinos every time. And that is another thing we need to talk about. Do you want me to bind in Freeport so that I don't have to go all the way to Kinos? Or should I make it even harder by staying bound in Kinos all the time? The whole time I play this character, should I always be bound in Kinos? That way, whenever I die in a raid or anything, I cannot just get back to the raid by running back to it. I have to get, I have to get Raz back. Um, or should I be reasonable about it and actually bind? Let me know what you think. Okay, so here we are. We are now in East Common Lands officially. This has been so great. So you will see that we will have auctions here and they are very pricey. Like this person, they are selling the 1.5k platinum and the 3k platinum items. 
but they are still very nice like this right here this is a very good shield to have even if you are like a warrior you can switch in the shield and be able to bash and then throw in your weapon that way you're always flipping back and forth between the two that is only if you want to do that a lot of people may or may not do that but that is something that would be pretty fun to do is have some corner, some sort of shield on you so that you can bash especially if you are a small race like a gnome or if you are a well i think the dwarf also gets the slam so it is it's kind of fun like that or you can see up here these two ogres they have the specialty helmet from the velios and also you can see what a, a human looks like in plate if he is still here. I just saw him. He was in red. Here he is. Look at that. That's FedEx. He has um, the plate on. That is what you would look like if you had the plate. And he, oh, oh he has the special arms. It looks like he got the Thurgoden arms. So that is really cool of him. I know that I've been watching or seeing him in the tunnel for a long time. And he has always been in the full red. So now that he is actually getting into some other armor, that is really cool. And up here you will see that uh, Siayu, he is a very cool monk. He is very strong and he has really cool items as well. I am not going to inspect him though because that is rude. Oh, we do need to hide the things real quick. And you will see other people here that are higher level and have all the really cool items. But I think we are going to end it here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye. Okay, now we are in the Ferrot. This is where all the ogres are. There is going to be an ogre thug that you have to watch out for. Now you may say, why don't you just run straight through the zone? That is probably going to be safer for you. But that is not silly because, uh, oh my goodness, there is a guard. He is coming up. I do not know if he has saw me, but I need to run. Is he on? Oh, he is on me. I am dead. I am dead. That is sad. Okay, we get back to here. We have to be very careful of him. Oh, we are being attacked. We are being attacked by an alligator. Oh no, we are getting hurt really bad. We need to swim faster. Okay. Do not kill a swamp alligator. This is really bad. Oh, please do not kill us. We are going to run and we are going to go straight for the for the uh, entrance of the Kazakh's rule. This is <laughs> very stupid of us to go in here. Because we do not know uh, what will end up killing us here. Let's hit over here. And uh, there is a bouncer. Please do not be in this tunnel. This would be very bad. Oh, he is. He is. We are dead. We, we are dead now.